lot of Catholics have on their mind, like kind of on the front of their mind, um, the, the right of exorcism and possession. And a lot of times you hear things like, well, if, I, if my kid dresses as a ghost or a skeleton, I'm worried he's going to fall into occultism and get possessed. That's really out there. There's a lot of even kind of bigger name exorcists out there that are kind of going down that path. And I was wondering maybe if you could address that. If, if dressing up as a ghost one night of the year, is that a pathway into possession? Obviously not. And, and one thing I would say as well, if we talk about the morbid imaginations, um, that, that, that the obsession with exorcism uh, is uh, also a consequence of a morbid imagination. The exorcism basically should be something which is private. Exorcists should be carrying out their business without without being without sort of everybody else wanting to be a fly on the wall while it's happening. That's the same sort of curiositas. And curiositas, by the way, is a sin. Um, it, 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 it's, it's the poisoning of scientia, the poisoning of knowledge. The curiosity um, kills more than the cat. It can kill the soul. Um, and, and so we, we, don't, we should not want to be the fly on the wall uh, learning about exorcisms all the time. That's the same sort of spirit of, of, of those in the secular culture that are obsessed with watching horror movies. Right? It's, 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 a, it's an obsession with the undead which is unhealthy. So, uh, you know, if, if, if we are allowing our obsession with exorcism to exorcise the spirit of, of, of all, all Hallows' Eve and all souls' Eve, we're doing the work of the devil.